Hey, 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 here I am. Bell Me Cherry's here. Come on in, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm feeling gorgeous. I'm feeling lovely. I'm feeling all the good stuff right now. I'm feeling high and all the way to the top. We got this face going. Do check that video out. I'm not going to tell you anything. If you didn't catch it from this little rumbling that I just did, too bad. Check out that video. Probably already have seen it. Um, however, we're coming in to create a beautiful, another fall eye look. Another, yeah, another fall eye makeup look. Using our newest Morphe uh, 35 TE Tease the Season Artistry Palette. I have a thing for the Morphe Artistry Palette. I don't know when that's gonna get, oh, when that's gonna end. I don't know, I thought I was over it, but seeing this palette, it just brought back everything. It just makes me forget the reason why I stopped buying Morphe palettes. It makes me um, wanna give it a try, give them a second chance. Not that it did anything to me per se, but it's just a lot going around this brand right now and I just don't wanna get caught up with it. But this palette is so stunning. I don't know if it's the mauvish shimmer shade right in the middle of the palette or I don't know what it is about this palette, but I grabbed it. And um, it's a good thing they have these little uh, design on the paper stuff here just to help any new makeup lovers, just to guide um, you guys with different formats, different ways of creating a eye look. Looks like so. This is a superb idea. I don't believe they do that on their, on all of their palettes. Their newest palette they have been. <clears throat> we have this palette here. There are several shades I want to use. I'm not going to go into the mauvish, grungy shades like I did creating my last fall look. I'll put a card up of that up top for you guys to check out using a different palette. Although, looking at this palette, that's exactly what I want to do. But I will go ahead and fight my way out of that comfort to create a whole different look for you guys. Okay? Um, full face is done. However, I didn't, I didn't really clean around my eyes. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, go in using this concealer from Jacqueline Cosmetics um, to prep the lid and um, clean up around the eyes, the brown. And I'm using the two shade golden tan, tan golden and neutral deep together. I will mix the two to give me exactly what I need. Love this concealer for the lid because The way it dries down super fast and super matte, it keeps the lid, the oil over the lid at bay. And it somewhat gives you that already set um, eyelid to work with without going with a powder and stuff. And it dries down beautifully. A little bit too quick, but beautifully on the skin. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and 
I'm gravitated towards these shades here, these cool tone shades on this side. Um, let's go in with Take the Rain. This shade and <clears throat> perhaps Hush Hush to soften everything and there's this no regret shimmer shade and this silvery stuff happening i don't know do i keep it all the way grayish grungyish or do i put a little bit of bizarre to it that that glitter in the middle also calls out for me but let's just start with take the rain With a hooded eye, y'all notice I tend to keep my eyes open as I'm applying my product and then close it lightly to fill in the inner part. I need to see my product because if I just do this with my eyes closed, I open my lid, I don't see anything. So I lightly apply the product with my eyes open just so I could see a little peekaboo of that shade with you know my eyes open because i don't go around walking with my eyes closed for y'all to see the, 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 the design on the lid stunning shade no fallout i'm just using the excess to flare it out and i'm using a slightly bigger brush to go in with that hush hush shade it's like a grayish mauve shade looks like so i think i showed showed it to you guys taking that on the inner part of the crease Uh, privacy please um the shade prior to it more pinkish but still a little muted with a little tints of grayness to it promise i'm not gonna do a pink look although it may seem to be going that route right now but you see how the inner part has that pink hue from that previous shade I'm just gonna deepen that up a little bit and then we'll go back to fall we do have what we got going on on the cheekbone so let's somewhat Keep that going. Back to our small brush, going to take the rain to deepen. There's a black shade on here. I do, but just my, and there's this bow tie shade. It is not black, y'all. It is like a burgundy-ish brown, these two, and this is what I'm talking about. Let's just add that to take the ring. That's stunning. Same brush.
that pink, I'm gonna, I know I said I wasn't going to, I'm not, I'm not. That pink, I'm gonna drag it all the way in here, right? Blend that into my contour, nose contour. And BYOB is this shade, still in the cool shade range. And I'm going to use that same small brush. And that color is right next to Take the Rain. So it's just going to be close, like, they're close in the, the depth of darkness. And this is like an eggplant grayish shade. Just, I'm just deepening that up with this shade. Somewhat a halo I would got going, but I don't know. I don't know. This flat head brush, I'm gonna mist it and use this. Well, I don't know which to use, you guys. We have this shade. And then we have no regrets or re-gifts. I wanna use both, like so. Then on the inner part, I'm going to use Most Wanted. Somewhat overlap the pink shade, the eggplant shade. I said I wasn't gonna do it all modest look. Let's go back to that pinkish shade with that BYOB together. Okay, I think I'm satisfied. Am I really satisfied? We have some fallout. That glitter. <clears throat> Her. her right in here and then let her just go all crazy everywhere else just Let's be festive with it. Because this is the time to use glitter. This is the time. Alrighty, for the lower lash line. <coughs> the lower lash line. Let's try to keep these two eyes identical, okay? I'm going to use this tiny little brush here going into that deep, deep ah. I want to use her 
I want to use her on my lower lash line, okay? I know I said I wasn't going to use any burgundy, any of this, any of that. But it's just that shade. Aside of that glitter, it's just that shade I want. All right, I'm keeping it like right here, leaving the inner part there. Probably go in with a different shade. Oh, let's use Naughty List, which looks like this. Very, very muted on the lower lash to diffuse the shade that we got going on here. I am not the girl to not apply any shade on my lower lash line still. At this point, I do want that, you know, smokiness on my lower lash. I'm not there yet, you guys. Let's go ahead and I want to play in most of the shades. There's this Got Receipt shade let me put that on the inner part of the lower lash using this little tinsy brush here right here let me miss the brush it may look like nothing next to this shimmer shade um but it's there i like what i see let me remove any fallout use any clean brush and go the opposite way to scoop up any fallout or glitter and you'll be good to go let me go ahead and put my you know all that remaining stuff that I need to finalize the face lashes whatever it is and I'll be back all right all right this is the eyes um created from this Morphe uh tease the season palette I went a little cuckoo with the um shimmer or the glitter shade right in the middle However, I love the payout, the color payout from this uh, palette, this formula. Um, again, I have not been really keeping track of the Morphe palettes from the original Morphe. However, I love the color payout. Not much fallout at all. Pigmentation were there. Let me give you guys a quick swatch of the shades that were used, if I just may. Um, stunning palette, stunning shade range. These are some of the shades that I used. Um, let's see how, listen. I know I love Morphe for a reason. I know in the beginning we fell in love for a reason and I believe that reason is still there these are the shades with pigmentation um, some of the uh, shimmers that I use this one that one and also these two pinkish shades up top I mean I slap on a lot of shades from this palette just to get an idea of all these shades, what they got going on. All right. Love this one as well, the, the matte shades on here. <coughs> I don't know, the color, the packaging, everything, I'm here for it. Um, if you want, I bought this full price, super excited when I saw it, 
However, I could have waited to get this from TJ Maxx and or Marshalls, perhaps later on this year or next year. It always happened, never fails, okay? Um, but I bought it full price. I just wanted to play with it for the holiday. Opening that palette, it just screamed to me fall and I just couldn't wait, okay? It happens, although I do love to save, to save my coins way in to get it from my my go-to stores but i could not wait okay and that's that so here we are hope you all enjoy this eye look um i'll see you guys do check out the full face and until next time and enjoy your holiday